Hi, I'm Audrey and I'll be your guide of the marine biome. The marine biome is the largest biome in the world. It covers about 70% of the earth and includes five main oceans. The Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian, the Arctic, and the Southern. The salty waters contain lots of biodiversity forming many complex ecosystems. The marine biome is shaped by its abiotic factors. Without them, the oceans would be lifeless. Sunlight beams down, warming the ocean and providing the critical light needed for phytoplankton and algae, which are the base of the ocean's food chain. As the distance from the shore increases, the water becomes deeper and colder, forming four ocean zones. The intertidal zone, the neuritic zone, the oceanic zone, and the abyssal zone. Water temperature and water depth greatly affect the type of life that exists in each ocean zone. The producers in the ocean provide a critical food source for the animals in the marine ecosystem. Phytoplankton are tiny producers that live near the surface of the ocean, absorbing the sun's rays, the necessary ingredients to photosynthesize food. These phytoplankton provide the main food source for many animals, including whales. Seaweed also grows in the water by using photosynthesis. All animals are consumers. Many herbivores, such as the green sea turtle, feed off seagrass, kelp, and algae. The carnivores, such as dolphins, eat small fish. Omnivores, such as whales, swim along, sucking up all plants and animals in its path. Predators lurk everywhere in the ocean, but none is more fierce than the king of the ocean, the great white shark. These massive creatures can reach up to 20 feet long and have huge shark teeth, which allow them to feed on seals, sea lions, dolphins, whales, and the occasional human. But let's not get too carried away here. Many animals have adapted to live in the ocean. In fact, an animal called a mesonyx that lived 95 million years ago has evolved into a present day dolphin. Seahorses have adapted to blend in with coral. Halibut fish have adapted to life on the bottom of the ocean. It lays flat and hides in the sand. Its eyes are on one side of its head. Seaweed use air sacs on their leaves that make it flow up to the surface to get sunlight for food. Humans are affecting all marine life by dumping garbage into the waters. It pollutes the waters and can harm the animals. Another thing that is affecting the marine biome is smog in the air. We can preserve this beautiful biome by not burning so many greenhouse gases and plant more trees. We can also stop cutting down so many forests. Also by cutting down forests, we take away the homes of animals. Now enjoy some shots of this beautiful biome.